In this video we are going to discuss how to calculate work done on an object by a force. I'm going to use a few simple examples but the first equation we need to look at carefully is this one. It is on your data sheet. W obviously stands for work. F is the magnitude of the force acting on an object. Delta X is the magnitude of the displacement of the object. And theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. This is the angle between that force and that displacement. Multiply all of these and you get the work done on the object. Remember work is a scalar, it does not have direction and the unit of work is the joule. Here is our first example. A box of mass 8 kilograms is pulled by an applied force of 120 newtons. The displacement is 5 meters, so the box starts off in this position and ends over there. <coughs> The force makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal and there's a frictional force of 10 newtons. So firstly you must draw the free body diagram. Even if they don't ask you to draw free body diagrams it's always a good idea to do this so that you can identify the forces that are acting on the object. Calculate the work done by the following forces. Firstly gravitational force, frictional force, applied force, normal force and then the work done by the net force. Right, we're going to answer this question. I've redrawn the sketch exactly as it is on the question, but I've also included the frictional force of 10 newtons, which was given in words in the question. But when you um, answer your questions, always add everything onto the sketch that was part of the wording of the question. So our free body diagram, we've got our frictional force to the left because the box is being pulled to the right due to the applied force. So the frictional force is to the left. Frictional force is always opposite to the direction of motion. We can see very clearly that the box is moving to the right, so the frictional force will be to the left. We have our normal force, which is always perpendicular to a surface. Be careful if your object is on an inclined surface your, frictional, your normal force will not be vertically upwards. Gravitational force is vertically downwards because it's on a flat surface. The surface is horizontal so the gravitational force is downwards. There's my applied force of 120 newtons. If your teacher wants you to make the dotted lines to show the angle, you must do that. You must always do your answers the way your teachers want you to do them. So the first question was to calculate the, the work due to the gravitational force. So gravitational force we normally use the symbol Fg. So the work we're going to call Wg. Fg is vertically downwards so our angle is going to be cos of 90. Fg is equal to mg delta x cos theta. Now please remember theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. The force is down the displacement is to the right horizontally so the angle is 90 degrees cos of 90 is 0 you can substitute your values in your answer will still be 0 joules so the work done by the gravitational force on this box is going to be 0 joules learn these cos values cos of 90 is 0 cos of 0 is 1 and cos of 180 is negative 1 write them down somewhere and try to remember them. So it's zero joules of work due to the gravitational force because Fg is perpendicular to delta x. This is not part of your answer, it's just an explanation. The second question was to calculate work due to the frictional force. The frictional force is to the left, the box is displacing to the right, so your angle is 180 degrees Frictional force was given as 10, the displacement was given as 5. So cos of 180 is negative 1 from our little list to remember. 10 times 5 is 50. So we get an answer of negative 50 joules. Leave your answer with a negative sign. Don't change it to positive and do not give direction. Work is a scalar, it does not have direction. We get a negative answer because the frictional force that is doing the work is in the opposite direction to the displacement. Work due to friction will always have a negative value. 
In 2.3, we are going to calculate the work due to the applied force. It is the 120 Newton force, which is at 20 degrees to the horizontal. Um, we're going to use the same equation as we've been using all along. Work is equal to the force times the displacement times the angle between the force and the displacement. The magnitude of the force is 120 newtons. The displacement is 5 meters. The angle between the two is 20 degrees. Your force makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal. Your answer, if you calculate it, is 563,83 joules. It is a rounded off value. And in 2.4, the work due to the normal is your normal force times your displacement times cos of 90. And as we have already said, cos of 90 is zero, so I'm not even going to substitute values in there. A question like that would count one or two marks. Then for 2.5, we have to calculate the work due to the net force or the work done by the net force. Here is our equation. W net is equal to F net delta X cos of theta, but I first need to calculate F net. F net is the uh, net force of the horizontal forces acting on the box. We have a vertical component here, we have the normal and we have a gravitational force, but they are not doing work on the box. So I'm only working with the two horizontal forces. The first one is the horizontal component of our applied force. It has a vertical component and a horizontal component. I've used the subscripts V for vertical and H for horizontal. You can use Y and X if you prefer. The horizontal component I've used cos. Um, adjacent over hypotenuse is cos. So FH is therefore 120 times, uh, 120 times cos of 20 degrees. There's your answer. Substitute it in here. F net is FH plus your frictional force, but frictional force is in the opposite direction. I've taken to the right as positive and to the left as negative. So FH is to the right, your 10 newtons for frictional force is to the left. So there's your answer for F net. It is 102,76 newtons to the right. Substitute that value into our original equation your delta x is 5 and it's cos of 0 because the force is to the right and the displacement is also to the right and there is your final answer for w net and now I'm going to show you another method for calculating w net. The other method for calculating w net is to add up the work due to all the forces acting on the box so if you go back to your free body diagram you will see that the forces are frictional force, work to the applied force, the normal force and the gravitational force. So W net is the sum of all these works. We have worked out all of them in the previous questions. So if you just add all of them up, remember work due to your normal force and your gravitational force is zero because those forces are 90 degrees to the displacement direction and you end up with exactly the same answer as your previous method using the W net equals F net delta X cos theta equation. If this is the first time that you are using this equation and you have just started doing work at school, go back to the beginning with the initial question and try to answer the question now without looking at my answers and see if you manage on your own.